All right, so the first signal operation that we'll discuss is what we call amplitude scaling. So we're gonna work right here on this bullet. We are going to create a new discrete time signal by taking some original discrete time signal and multiplying it by a constant C. That's what we call amplitude scaling. Really the best way to go about looking at this is just via some examples. So here in our first example, we will work with the discrete time signal X of K. And here is the discrete time signal X of K that I'll draw for you. The blue dots there are the values. So at time minus five, the signal is equal to zero. At time minus four, the signal is equal to two. At time three, it's equal to minus two, etc. So that's kind of our base starting signal. And we're gonna go ahead and do some different amplitude scaled versions of the signal. So in this first example here, let's actually sketch what two times X of K looks like. So let me go ahead and redraw my axes. And then we will sketch the signal two X of K. And that really is as simple as it sounds. I'm just gonna take every point that I had previously and multiply by two. So for example, at time minus five, originally I had zero. Two times zero is still zero. At time minus four, originally I had a value of two. Two times two is four, so I plot a four. And then we just continue doing that for all the values. A negative two times two is minus four. One times two is two. A negative one times two is negative two. At time zero, we had a value of three previously. Two times three is six, so now we have a value of six there. And you just keep going on multiplying by two at every point along the time axis. So pretty straightforward. All right, let's go ahead and do one more example. What if we wanted to sketch the signal negative x of k? So first, I'll just go ahead and redraw x of k for you so we know what that looked like on the previous chart. This was our original starting signal x of k. And then to sketch minus x of k, I'm gonna follow the exact same process. I want to, at each point in time, look at the original value that I had and then plot the negative of that value here as I sketch the signal minus x of k. So previously zero, the negative zero is still just zero. So nothing much of interest happens there. Originally I had a value of two at time minus four. If I negate that, I get minus two at time minus four. At time minus three, initially I had a value of minus two. If I negate that, I get a value of two. The value of minus one will end up flipping to plus one at time k equals negative one. And you just keep going. The value of three at time zero flips down to minus three. And I think you get the idea. We can go ahead and finish that example out. So that's amplitude scaling. It's very simple. You just multiply just like you do normal multiplication in every other math class you've had uh, for some time, I'm sure. The difference being we kind of do it at each time k. So to do amplitude scaling, just think of it each time k, you're doing this independent amplitude multiplication. That's it for now. In the next video, we'll get on to our next signal operation. We'll take a look at signal addition. And that's also a pretty simple operation as well, but we'll work through a few examples.